Hi there, I'm out for a, a night's stop testing my kit here at Sale House Broad. I've arrived in the rain, uh, I can hear some thunder over there, so I want to get this tent up just as quickly as I can. And that, dear viewer, is the tent up. <laughs> I'm here at Sow House Broad. It's not far from Norwich. It's only about 10 kilometer ride. I just came here to spend the night and test out my kit before going on some further travels. Well, we're only just allowed out of lockdown and camping again. And I think I must be one of the first to have booked because I'm the only person here. I had a choice of pitches and I've gone for plot 19. It looked like it was the flattest and also there's a footpath that runs down the edge there of the broad. I didn't want people going past my tent there, so I thought I'd pitch it here in the middle. So this is it, this is my uh, Zephros One one-person tent. It hasn't taken me long to put the tent up, just a couple of minutes. Come out on my Trek Madone road bike. These are the bags I've got. It's a, a Rosswheel Attack saddle bag. This is my new Planet Rubber frame bag just had this one made for this bike um, they're really nice I really like these bags they're very flexible and inside here I've got um, my bike lock got down jacket got power bank keep my phone charged my GPS I've got a drink for tonight can of beer and puncture repair kit so that's everything in my frame bag in the front here I've got my sleeping bag and my sleeping mat I'm out with my pod sack system today it's from Planet X and it consists of two panniers at the front front fork panniers and a handlebar roll bag they're all made of 100% tarpaulin so nice and robust uh, I've got my uh, reader free sleeping pad tonight and I've got my mountain warehouse lightweight down three season sleeping bag. In my front pod sacks here I've got my cooking equipment and food. I've got myself a curry tonight. I'm trying a combination. I've got this one which is a tikka masala from Aldi. That costs £1.99 and I've also got this which is my Wayfarers. Um, this is chicken tikka with rice, and this came out at about five pounds 90. So considerable price difference. That's the tikka masala from Aldi, and that's the chicken tikka with rice from Wayfarer. And that's my cooking equipment. It's uh, a Tomishu titanium mug, 600 milliliters or thereabouts. And, uh, Inside here I've got my brew kit, my little burner and one of the butane screw-in bottles. Uh, tonight I'll just be rolling up these, putting them in here and cooking them, boiling them in some water and eating the meal out of the, out of the packet. Really minimalist equipment. In my other front fork pannier, in this one here, I've got clothing options. I've got a brimmed hat. I always take a woolly hat with me, but I brought a brimmed hat with me so that when I put my mosquito net on tonight, it will be held away from my face. So if there is a bit of an insect problem tonight, I'll wear the hat and the net. And also in here, I've got some long tracksuit bottoms. That's my clothing. And lastly, on my top tube bag, I've got a few snacks, I've got crisps, some of these little mini cheddar biscuits, some cereal bars, and it's also where I keep my GoPro batteries. For lighting, I brought along my little Lumu keyring pendant. This is really convenient. It's just a nice little light that I can clip on the inside of the tent. 
and I've also brought along my little inexpensive head torch. This is rechargeable USB, it's lightweight, does the job. Right, so to inflate this, um, it comes with its own little pump. You've probably seen this loads of times in my other videos. Okay, I think that's probably done. This is the real for it. comes with a inflatable pillow for the head. And the rest is made up of this sort of pattern. It's all right, it's just a little bit noisy when you roll on it. It's pretty comfortable. I checked the weather forecast before I came out and it looks like it's going to be a little bit showery, temperamental really. Some thunderstorms passing through, but once they're through it's quite sunny and mild. I think the temperature tonight is scheduled to drop down to about 9 degrees. But this sleeping bag should be ample. So that's the kit loadout and a quick explanation of the bike and the bike bags. Right, without further ado, I think it's time for a quick explore. I'm going to go over and get some water from the standpipe, then go down and have a quick look at the broad and then come back and make myself a brew. A couple of trips ago, I managed to break my Nalgene water bottle. It sort of got a split in it, which was a bit frustrating but those very kind people at um, Super Sparrow have sent me a couple of water bottles to try out. This is the uh, plastic 750 milliliter water bottle and uh, it's been designed so it's got a nice little lid on it which you can flip up. What's nice about that is it's protecting the mouthpiece so if you decide to have that on your bike and you're going through rough terrain and it gets splattered with mud and debris, then at least the mouthpiece is still clean. Ah, the beauty of a campsite, fresh clean water that you don't need to run through a mill bank bag or a purification system. <laughs> Luxury. This is a very beautiful piece of woodland full of these lovely bluebells. Yeah, fantastic carpet of blue. That sow house brought just down the slope there. 
and the camping field that I'm in is at the top edge just over here. I'm hoping that as the Covid restrictions ease I'll be able to get out do quite a bit more bike packing and camping and canoeing. It's been a bit of a slow start to the year. I'm very thankful to be out today even if the weather is going to be a little bit damp, a little bit changeable. And, uh, it makes a nice change for me to come to a campsite where there's some running water and toilets. So yeah, this campsite is not too far away from where I live. It's about 10, 15 kilometers at the most. But you know, it gets me out of Norwich and into the uh, countryside. Uh, it's wonderful. But I think I need a brew. I'm getting a bit thirsty. Let's go and put the kettle on. Look at that, entire campsite to myself. can't stress how important it is when you consider your mug choice to get one with a lid because when you're in a confined area like this it's so easy to knock it over and you you don't want to lose your drink and you don't want to get burnt started to rain very light it's really quite a relaxing sound on the tent. Just looking out my tent door, I can see South House Broad. Just through the trees over there. Properly tipping it down outside. I'm snug and dry in the Zephyrus One tent. Gonna get on some food now. My pot is not big enough for me to put both of these sachets in together so I'll, I'll kind of I'll heat up that wayfarer first then I'll put in the chicken tikka from Aldi and then I'll swap them over again to reheat that one so that I can kind of bring them both up to temperature at the same time and in the meantime I'm going to have a, a Budweiser Cheers everyone some crisps. Here's to a lot more bike packing and adventuring in 2001. I tried to alternate the packets and I'm gonna open the Wayfarer first. Mmm. Oh, that's lovely. But this one's got meat in it, chicken. This is the Aldi one. Chunky vegetable from Aldi. Well, I've tried these ones before and I absolutely love these. I think this has got more chili in it. It's got more of a sharp taste. The vegetables are quite, quite distinct as well, not so mushy. And this one, I think the rice and the veg or whatever they've used in this is quite mushy except for the pieces of chicken which are quite distinct. I've eaten a bit of that now so there's some room in there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pour this one into here and mix them up. God what a rebel. Ah. 
Oh, fantastic. That's the way to do it. That's good, it's got the heat of the vegetable one, but it's got the chicken and the, and the rice from the, from the Wayfarer milk, so yeah, happy compromise. Tasty compromise. An interesting way to spend your Tuesday evening. Cheers. Oh, good morning everyone. What a really nice day. Lovely sunrise. Got to have something to drink now. All I ever seem to do on these bikepacking adventures is eat and drink. <laughs> I guess you've got to keep the calories up. And have some hot chocolate this morning. I had a really good night's sleep last night actually. Woke up a couple of times. I think once was when the wind picked up and then there was some rain. So that's that, that's the kit tested and a few lessons learnt. I'm gonna pack up, head off home, and hopefully I'll be back before the kids go off to school. Cheers, thanks very much for watching, and until the next time, happy bikepacking. packing.